Yo, yo, what's going on, everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. You guys, listen to another episode of the Crypto Millionaire Journey. And uh, right now, I'm seeing a lot of reds. But if you guys have been kind of watching the market for the last, I don't know, about good, I would say, month or so, maybe a little bit less time than that. But uh, we did eclipse the 300 billion uh, market cap range. Uh, right now we're sitting at about 275, 276 billion. Um, funny thing about it is, you know, we were, I would say we were cruising for a while in the 300 range. And I don't know if that was because of the whole Facebook announcing their cryptocurrency with the whole Libra. Or I don't know if Trump has anything involved to do with it because he uh, recently came out and said, you know, He's not a fan of cryptocurrency and he's trying to say, you know, all this stuff is just made out of digital or I say made out of thin air, which is kind of ironic because what does the Federal Reserve do? But anyways, uh, so yeah, so obviously right now I would say you got um, some spare change that you're trying to invest in. Uh, you could go ahead and make some quick, easy wins, easy gains. Um, f for me, I've been watching. Obviously, I watch this thing every day. Um, but I mean, right now, looking at currently, you know, Bitcoin at ten thousand two hundred fourteen dollars. Uh, that was at basically what it was flowing around the twelve racks range for a while. I think it might have eclipsed uh, thirteen at one point. I've gotten a as in high as a uh, 14,000. I, I think it was one of those days that it was having a crazy run. Obviously, right now, Ethereum's at 221. Ripple's at 31 cents. Litecoin's at $88. You can make a quick win on Litecoin. Litecoin was just at like uh, 140 uh, not too long ago. Quick win with Ethereum, too. Ethereum had gotten close to $300 uh, during these like last little run we had. EOS, same thing. Right now it's at four bucks and twenty-five cents. That thing was at basically six bucks. Um, Stellar's at eight cents. Uh, I believe Stellar got got as high as ten cents. Tron still in the two cent range. Uh, I want to say it did hit three cents. Um, Cardano's at five cents now. Cardano, that's an easy win as well. Uh, currently down fourteen percent the last twenty-four hours. Uh, you could obviously get some of that and probably wait till that goes back to like the 12, I mean, ugh, 10 cents range. I think it might hit 11 cents. Monero's also down. Uh, Dash is down. Neo, another one's down. $11.81. Uh, Neo was just flirting with the 15, 16 dollar range not too long ago. Uh, Myelda's down. 29 cents. Ethereum Classic's down. 5 bucks range. Uh, close to about six dollars, five forty-eight. Nim is down, Zcash down. Ontology, uh, Ontology, I think got back to dollar fifty during those good times. Right now it's at eighty-seven cents. Uh, another good coin to kind of just hodl and wait for those gains. Uh, Bat, you know, back down to twenty-three cents. Uh, I remember when this was at thirty-four cents. Uh, Quam's at three dollars and five cents. So. There's a lot, a lot of different options, a lot of different ways where you can make some short-term, mid-term games, even nanos under a dollar with all these different cryptocurrencies, uh, especially when right now it's a lot of sea of red, sea of red. Um, so there's a lot of things that are down right now. Obviously, it won't stay that way for long, um, or it could, but I mean, I, I highly doubt it. Um, but we have been here before. Question is now, you know, how long does it take us to go back to the three hundred billion dollar range? Could it be a couple of days, weeks? Um, who knows? But you know, right now, I would say uh, some good entry points to get in, get in, huddle, wait for a little bit, um, watch the market kind of grow. I mean, like I said, we we were at three hundred billion, so we lost a good thirty billion in the market so again <laughs> some easy ways you can make some wins um obviously uh, as far as the podcast goes i've uh, been a little mia uh, but i do have a lot of uh, content that will be dropping pretty soon 
um, obviously with all these different projects um, it's a lot of work <laughs> to try to keep up with everything um, uh, if, you have, if you guys do follow my YouTube channel that's a good place also to uh, watch just some different videos and different topics of crypto projects that I cover and update obviously um, but um, some things that I have been getting myself involved with uh, such as uh, the whole blockchain gaming world decided to kind of go down that route um, started playing like crypto kitties uh, blockchain cuties uh, there's this game called what's it called ethereum on ethereum on it's kind of like a pokemon game in a sense uh my crypto heroes um axie infinity i want to get on this eos knights as well so definitely going into the blockchaining game uh path road where you want to call it um and you know i'm going to try to see what i can do especially with you know every crypto game that you play you know all these assets that you're collecting they're, they're they are assets they are real assets you know as you huddle and as these price changes um you know you got to see when's a good time to buy different you know digital items and um you know that's something for me goal wise is i want to build up you know obviously i'm building up a portfolio of crypto but at the same time i want to build a portfolio of some of these digital assets for these you know digital games because uh, blockchain gaming i think is going to be something that will be big in the future when mass adoption comes along um and those that you know have been playing or are into games like where you collect and you know there's only a certain amount of cards out there especially when it comes to uh, for example crypto kitties you know there's only a certain number amount of different keys that they you know have in the game and that they release so uh it's gonna be i think it's gonna be worth a while i think it's gonna be a great you know roi on some of these digital games because obviously there's not a lot of players right now um so there are some advantage advantages advan advantages excuse me um that you can obviously uh maximize by not having so many players and then just being involved with the game during its early stages and then also as the market goes back up um, if you did get in you know during certain uh, time periods time frames where the case may be uh, you'll be able to sell and get some you know nice profits off some of these digital um, assets that you're collecting and then um, you know been trying to who man like I said it's a lot of work but, but trying to uh, be, be consistent with some of these other crypto social media platforms um there's been a lot of different updates especially when it comes to like pi pi uh mithril they finally got their vault app uh finally available on the ios uh you know there's some different i would say hardware wallets um atomic wallet is one of those wallets if you guys are familiar with exodus uh atomic wallet is very similar to exodus only difference i would say main difference i would say is obviously atomic wallet has a lot more cryptocurrencies to offer on their platform um so when you're you know managing all your different assets they have a lot more options and they also have tokens uh yeah they do have the tokens that you're able to actually add and manage um, on their wallet as well and that's available on the desktop and stuff like that um uh, trying to think what else Oh, I can't even forget. Um, man, electronium mining. Hoo -hoo. It's coming in. Oh, it's coming in nicely. Uh, definitely going to be talking about that. But like I said, I, I do got a lot, a lot of content uh, that I'm going to be dropping pretty, pretty, I would say, frequently in the next you know couple days to weeks or so. Uh, just kind of give you guys an update on you know all the different projects that I'm involved in. Uh, I'm also... I'm also looking to expand my debit card, uh, crypto debit cards. Uh, I'm looking at possibly adding three, possibly. Uh, be a Monaco Visa debit card. That'll be one. Um, this crypt 
crypt uh, cryptarium card that's gonna be two and then also um, there's a third one I'm trying to think uh, I think so. oh yeah it's called uh, uh, Benix um, they supposedly have a debit card that they're releasing out pretty soon so hopefully I get my hands on those cuz uh, you know ever since the shift card got shut down um, I wouldn't say it's been tough but as far as trying to get like cash back I mean it's been a little rough cuz with BitPay they haven't you know finished their whole upgrade to their system um, so right now their whole cash back features are down which kind of sucks uh, sometimes especially when you need cash you know those rare occasions uh, we you know it's cash only what the case would be but um other than that you know that would be the only I would say biggest problem that I've ran into um, obviously trying to keep up with everything has been you know it's 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 work man I'm not gonna lie between that trying to you know produce content you know get everything out tiring <laughs> but I'm um, definitely gonna try to have you know some more uh, content for you guys especially those that you know are actually tuning in to the podcast which I appreciate I'm definitely gonna have some different and uh, I would say I'll try to do some more updates as well um, especially when it comes to you know like this electronic mining like man I don't know if you guys have the app yet but I'm almost I'm almost that way. I'm halfway to 50 referrals. And last month, I reached an all-time high for mining 300 electronium in a month. Uh, previously, I think I only did like maybe 100 or 200 in a month. Um, so now, I'm in the month of July. Received my first payout. I think it was on Friday. Uh, curious to see how long it's going to take to get that second payout. Um, and obviously I want to see if I'm able to, you know, break that all time high of 300 ETN a month or will I regress this month a little bit because there's more, you know, activity as far as miners go. We'll kind of see how that goes, weigh, weigh that out. Um, we're definitely going to be talking about, like I said, some different projects that I got myself involved in recently. Um, cause man, one thing I gotta say about crypto is it, it keeps you on your toes. Um, I have found this platform called Nexo, uh, where you basically can, you know, start earning interest, count, compound interest daily, uh, from day one with like, no, I wouldn't say there's no minimums, but there's a certain amount of money you want to put into that platform where you're actually going to start seeing some of those gains, which I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, you know, I'm pretty new to the platform, still trying to get, you know, the hang of everything. Uh, but definitely, you know, definitely going to look into obviously buying some Nexo tokens because why? Um, you're going to be collecting dividends. Yeah, so you'll collect dividends. So, you know, for me, you know, it's all about finding platforms, you know, that distribute dividends where you earn, you know, interest. Anything where your money is constantly working, you know, those are projects that obviously I'm going to put my time into them. Um, and, you know, I have, I have found some. Gotta put some money into them, obviously. We'll be doing that. Um, but, you know, it's all about just constantly doing it and, you know, constantly, you know, thinking to yourself, hey, all these crypto tokens, cryptocurrencies, all these, you know, in the next couple of three, five, you know, 10 years, you know, if you don't have a lot, it's a nice stack or at least something, you know, you're probably gonna be a little disappointed. And, you know, I, I constantly are trying to tell people, you know, hey, if you need help, you know, by all means, I'll, I'm willing to help, show, guide. I mean, that's why I have a YouTube channel. You know, that's why I have a podcast. You know, I'm, I'm talking about it, trying to obviously spread the awareness. But, um, you know, my next thing is, like, you know, what's our next all-time high? Because technically speaking, we're kind of in a bull run. Um, the whole bear market thing is I would say I think in the past is right now because the lowest Bitcoin you know really reached was like what low three thousands and ever since then it, it you know I don't think it's gone past nine thousand so obviously I'm curious to see what's gonna happen within this you know this week because uh, you know right now it's you know going down and that could be you know some news or 
there be a lot of different factors that you know evolve with the price but you know it's all it's all good but um i think that's gonna wrap up this episode of the cast um again just want to kind of give you guys a little update what's been going on i mean curious to see as we get ready to head into quarter three where will the market cap be because you know as we enter quarter four that's where it gets really exciting it's like are we gonna have another run like we did what was that end of 2017 going into 2018 are we are we preparing for one of those or are we, is it gonna be like a steady slow grind like steadily building Working our way back up to that twenty thousand range, because um, you know some people are predicting you know Bitcoin could hit a hundred k in what like 2020, 2021. I'm like, damn, that's that's not really far. That's that's pretty. It's pretty quick, man. You know, we're talking like two years. Hundred thousand for Bitcoin. That's just Bitcoin alone. There's no telling what some of these other altcoins might be. So, you know, it's it's a fun, exciting times. Um, I'm really excited to, you know, try to get some more Bitcoin debit cards that way. You know, spending some crypto will be a lot more easier because I'm all in, guys. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I'm all in. I'm trying to have as much crypto as possible because man i've seen what it's done see what it can do and the technology behind it all is i think that's one of the most intriguing things like damn like what you're able to do on some of these blockchains is really amazing (laughs) i mean because i'm a nerd so some of this tech stuff is just like wow like it kind of opens your eyes on certain things as well, uh, especially when it comes to money, man. I don't think, I don't think we're uh, handling and how we're supposed to use money. I don't think we're doing it correctly, especially with the government involved and how they, you know, say this about your bank. And your bank does doesn't do this. Like I came across a tweet. How Wells Fargo was telling this guy how to spend his money. Like, they wouldn't allow him to buy crypto. It's like, bro, your bank is telling you what to do with your money? Like, that's scary times, man. Scary times. But, again, people are so so caught in the smoke screen that they don't have mind of their own and don't can't see past it. Or they don't want to see past it, which is kind of which is sad. But, you know, hey, teach his own. Um, it's a doggy dog world. Only the strong will survive sadly but that's kind of how it is but i'm gonna go ahead and sign off uh make sure you guys check out the youtube channel uh, youtube.com slash the wolf of crypto uh, check out the merch i got merchandise on amazon check out the merch help your brother out help support because uh, times are rough unfortunately <laughs> ran into a situation but you know um be on the lookout for more content coming i would say in the next couple of days and you should be able to you would see some consistency i would say at least for the next probably two or three weeks because uh, like i said i've been covering a lot of different things uh so like i said tune into the cast i'm on apple Podcasts, spotify anchor of course stitcher radio uh, was it Radio Cast, Pocket Cast, Tune In? I mean, podcast can is available pretty much on all major platforms. So check it out, man. Let me know what you think. Send a message in. But um, that's gonna wrap it up. Until next time, y'all. Hope everybody's well and take care.